Hey guys, um, I have a little haul. It's mostly drugstore stuff and then that's the makeup stuff and then this is one thing. I actually just bought this at Marshall's um, it was with all their Halloween stuff. It's this snow globe that has a skeleton bride and groom and it's got like black glitter in it and bats. I think it had bats. I saw bats in it. Um, yeah, there's not many, but there's little bats that float around in there too. And its base is like this silver skeleton hand. And it's like wrapped in... It's wrapped up like a mummy. The arm. So I thought that was really cool. It was only $12.99. Um, and there was only one of them, so I figured if I didn't buy it, I would be regretting it. So, <laughs> that is that. Um... Now for drugstore stuff, I've been trying to do like the coupon thing, which is working out really well because there was a bunch of coupons I had that were CoverGirl $8 off, so I ended up getting a bunch of CoverGirl stuff for really, really cheap. And um, I had L'Oreal coupons too, so it's mostly CoverGirl and L'Oreal. The only thing that's not is this nail polish. It's another Crackle polish. It's an LA Girls one. LA Girl. Uh, it's just called Cracked, and this one is, um, Rupture. It's the turquoise one. This is the only one I picked up because most of them were colors I already had in Crackle. Like, there's black, red, white, pink. Um, and this one isn't that great. It's not one of the best Crackles I've used, so glad I only bought one of them and didn't go crazy. Now for, um... I guess I'll do CoverGirl stuff first. I got two lip liners that are the Lip Perfection ones. Um, this one is Beloved. It's just a really nice pink shade. And then I love this one. It's Seduce. It's the nude one. And it's pretty much like my lip color, only better, <laughs> if that makes any sense. These, I love these lip liners, um, I actually, they go on nice and smooth and I like that because a lot of lip liners tend to dry out my lips, especially the mm. MAC ones. Sorry, that's my phone. I mean, I love MAC lipsticks, but the lip liners, I only own one and it was the, what one was it? In Sync. I don't even remember what collection this came out with, um, but it, I love the color of it, but it dries my lips out like crazy. So these are going to be like my new go-to lip liners because that's pretty much the color lipsticks I wear anyway. And then speaking of lipsticks, I got four of the Lip Perfection lipsticks, which I know I raved about them in another video. The only downside to them is that they stain, if you remember me saying that, but I can live with that because I kind of like the fact that it's like a lipstick and lip stain in one, and when it starts wearing off, you don't have to worry about your bare lips showing through because it pretty much stains your lips. Um, so if you can get past the, the stain part of it, I think I'm aiming to collect all of these. I don't know. Um, I got Embrace, which is this crazy purple, which... I'm probably not going to wear all that often, but I thought it was gorgeous. Um, it doesn't come out quite that dark when it's swatched. Looks like that. Um, again, love these. They're nice and creamy. They go on smooth. Um, this one is called Verve. It's like a shimmery pink. Uh, there we go. Looks like this and put that right next to it. That one's really nice and light. It's right there, that one's Verve. Then, this is probably my favorite one out of the four that I got, Heavenly. It is a pretty, it's like a dark pinkish nude color. And that is that one. That one's really, really nice. And if you use it with... I used it with the um, Seduce lip liner. And it almost makes it look matte, which is really cool. Um, and then this is Hot Passion. This is like the end-all, be-all of red lipsticks. Um, 
super super bright red and I'm not one for red lipsticks but I really really love this one especially because when it starts wearing off you still have that stain so it's not like your lips aren't all pink in the middle um, yeah that is that one and if you like red lipstick definitely definitely recommend this one so so pretty actually I don't know if it, I think it's just called hot because yeah I don't know it says hot passion on it and then for L'Oreal I got some of the Le Gloss glosses like this is the one I showed in a haul before and I really really liked it it's uh, baby blossom it's just a pink so I got with my coupons I got four of them I got peach fuzz which is a coral and these are all pretty sheer they're not like super super pigmented um, saucy mauve this one is raspberry splash it's a really pretty shimmery pink and then this one looks scary plum rush it looks kind of brown in the tube but when it's on it's like a hold on I will show you it's like a see-through plummy color so nowhere near as scary as what this looks like it's kind of it looks like a lip stain actually um, all right and then I got three of these um, the one sweep sculpting and blush duos not sure why because I'm not a huge blush person but again these, the coupon thing is drawing me in and it's like it's crazy they look like this and then it's got like this little brush in it that I actually did use when I used this it's bent in the middle so you get like the blush on one side and the bronzer on the other it's got a mirror in there too and this one's called flush those are the two colors and I will swatch them for you they're not incredibly pigmented but I like that because I tend to wear too much blush sometimes if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing so that's what those look like and then this one is posh which is it's not as pink as the other one it's a lighter pink blush I really like that one I think that's my favorite and then this one is nectar and it's more of like a corally blush and a tannish bronzer those are really really light so I'm glad that it's fall time and I'm pale not that I was tan to begin with this summer but so that is it for this haul um, I have a couple things I ordered from Sephora coming soon so I will have another haul probably pretty soon when that comes in but that's it for now and I'll talk to you guys later hey guys so it's later in the day same day um, but I took a shower and my hair, that's why my hair is different but I forgot to put something in the haul video that I just filmed so I'm just gonna stick this at the end of it when I was at Marshall's where I got that Halloween the snow globe I can't talk today on the way out this was kinda like an impulse buy but they had they only had one of these it was sitting on one of the shelves um, it's a set of note cards and I'm like a stationary freak I love having cute stationery to write on when I send my friends stuff and so this is a set of note cards and they're Dr. Seuss um, this is what the little box looks like it has the oh the places you'll go artwork and it's glittery if you can see and there's four designs in here there is if I can get the thing apart there's the oh the places you'll go ones which the actual cards have glitter on them in the balloons too these are like the cutest things and they're just blank inside to write um, then there's the cat in the hat and that's glittery <laughs> then we have green eggs and ham
And this one just says, I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam, I am. And then one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And they all have glitter on them in the characters and stuff, so. I just thought those were really cute, and that was only $4.99 for this whole set of note cards, so. That was pretty awesome, and um, I may as well throw this in here too. I didn't film a tutorial for my nails. I actually was inspired by a picture I saw on Tumblr. I can't remember who posted it or who it was reblogged from, but it was um, just black nails with glitter, like holographic glitter, and then the accent nail was orange with a web and a spider. So I used the Wet n Wild Black, um, hold on. Alright, I used the Wet n Wild Black, it's the, uh, the fast dry one in Ebony Hates Chris. This is the best, blah, best black nail polish I have ever owned. It takes one coat and it's completely opaque. Um, the glitter color is I Miss You from Sinful Colors. It's just this, it's like a purple gel base which doesn't show up over the black anyway, but it's got holographic glitter in it. That's what the glitter on the black is. Then the orange color is Crush from Jessie's Girl. It's just a good Halloween orange. And I did the, this, on this nail I just did like a half-assed um, spider web because I can't draw with my left hand as well as I can with my right. So the design, I just used the black nail art pen that I had in a haul that I got it I got this at Rite Aid and I got a couple other colors too. They're in a little display and there's only like two of each color so I would definitely grab it if you see it. And that's it. So yeah I didn't do a tutorial for it. I thought of that afterwards that I should have just filmed one but it's done now. I will do some more nail tutorials, hopefully some Halloween ones and I'll talk to you guys later.